What is up everybody, how are you doing today? Welcome back to the Hunter Call of the Wild. And today, I was just, you know, taking a look and seeing, you know, what have I not done a lot of in this game? Because I've done a lot of the stuff that you can do. Um, I've killed almost every diamond, I'm only missing two. I have killed at least one great one. Um, and I was just, you know, kind of looking at my statistics and everything. And I realized... I've hardly ever killed anything with a bow. My archery score is 218. That's pretty bad. Like, absolutely nothing. Um, so I was thinking, you know what? Let's try and change that. You know, let's try and get into some bow hunting. See if maybe we can get some animals, you know, with a bow. Some good trophies. So I wanted to just start out here on the archery range on Parque Fernando. Just, you know, make sure that I'm doing good. I have the crossbow, compound bow, and the longbow with me um, in this loadout that I made. Just so, you know, we can kind of start to get a feel for what we're going to be doing. So Like I said, I feel pretty good, so let's go on ahead and go see what we can find. I don't think we're going to stick around the Parque Fernando. I think we're going to go somewhere else. But yeah, let's go on ahead and see if we can get some stuff with the bow. Alright guys, so I decided to come to my own Leighton Lakes and hunt some blacktail deer. And we do have some decent looking deer out here in front of us. That guy right there is actually a max weight estimate. So she's only 53 meters away it actually looks like we have some other ones that are fairly close as well um, but these are the ones that we're going to try and get and we can always go to the other side of the lake and see if we can get more um, but these are the ones that I'd like to try and get so I'm going to try and get over here in these trees right here and see if maybe just maybe I can get lucky enough to get a shot alright so the max weight estimate is 46 meters away and actually, I'm going to see if I can get him while he's right there. And we smoked him. Awesome. Let's go. That was actually kind of cool. Like I said, I've never really done much in the way of bow hunting. But I can definitely see how it's a challenge to get close enough to anything. And it looks like we have some more over there. What I might try and do, there's another max weight estimate, is get in one of those trees and then call to them. Alright, so here is the level 4, and can't really see where the broadhead hit him. Kind of like got him right in the base of the chest, but a pretty good shot, and actually a heart shot at 44 meters away with the bear claw. So there we go, not half bad. At all, I'm happy with that. All right, well, I got over here, and I did not realize that there were these does right here in the way. So if I call, they're going to spook, and probably these guys will spook as well. So we've got one out there at about 80 meters. I think we could try this with the crossbow. It's 60 meters, and it's going to be the second pin. And, oh my gosh, that was great. Okay, that was actually kind of good. Oh, and wow, so these guys are just going to stand here. What you going to do there, buddy? Come on. Come on out from behind the rock. That would actually be kind of cool if we could get a second one. Come on. I know you want to do it. Please come out from behind the rock. Darn it. Well, that's a bit unfortunate. Well, actually, since he didn't spook, we can probably just call him. And this call does attract blacktails. So... Let's see. Maybe we can get him to come on over here. And is that looking like it's working? It says that they're traveling. He's behind the rock, of course, so I don't know. We'll see if it works. Oh, shoot. And actually, there is the, uh, there's the max weight estimate. 
So he's stopping out there at 67 meters. I think we should be able to make that shot. I'm going to let him put his head down one more time and drink. That way he doesn't, you know, do that when I'm trying to shoot him. Um, or actually, if he's just going to stand there. So 67 meters. Yeah, we're going to let him come back up one more time. Bingo. What a shot. What a shot. Oh my golly. That is amazing. I wonder. Can we get one more maybe? I know with bows they don't um, put out the same amount of hunting pressure. So can we get that guy who's... Ah, now he's going away. I was going to say he's 90-ish meters away. That's like... Oh my gosh, I actually hit that thing. No way. Did we get him? I have no idea. We may have gotten him. Oh my gosh, guys, it actually went down. No way. All right, that's cool. That is really, really cool. So the crossbow is pretty awesome. Let's see what we've got right here. Got this guy with a heart and lung shot, 68 meters pretty awesome and it's cool that you can see the tracer arrows especially you know i decided to do black tail because it was later in the day and you'd probably be able to see the tracer arrows and actually we almost hit this guy too high so we'll have to remember that when we're shooting at distances again and then there should be blood over here no organs hit I wonder if I got a vertebrae because he did go down relatively quick. I mean, look at the blood. This guy went down really, really fast considering the range and the fact that we didn't even get an organ. So the only thing I can think is that we managed to hit the vertebrae. So where did we even hit this guy? Yeah, vertebrae shot. He turned. Oh, he ducked right as we shot he was turning we might have gotten him if that hadn't been the case oh well that is still really awesome let's go guys I, i'm actually having a lot of fun with this um guys well we have elk over here i did not even realize there's a big cow elk down there so i'm gonna see if maybe we can get her and there's also a really nice bull up there on the hill so maybe if we can get the cow and then get the bull, I'd like to get to about 40 yards and maybe see if we can take her with the uh, longbow, which would be nice. That would be kind of cool. So if we can do that, I have the big arrows loaded in the longbow. So let's go on ahead and stand up. And actually now she's not even giving me a shot. So we'll have to try and get a little closer. All right, well, we have the Roosevelt elk right here. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to put in the 600 grain tracer uh, crossbow bolts and see if we can take this one down right there and that should have been a good shot i hope so anyways our bull is still standing up there so my goal is though to get up here and see if we can get a call on him and get him to come in nice and close so we can get a pretty good shot so our elk is right there let's go ahead and get the elk caller going and see that should be good right there maybe and yeah there's a couple of bulls over there now heading this way and actually we'll probably have some cows coming in as well but we want to get the big one all right well the first couple elk are starting to show here's a little level three coming through the bushes and there's the big one right there oh man that's cool. See, you usually don't get animals up close in the game if you're, you know, 
just shooting with the rifle. But this guy is getting in here close. He is now 30 meters out. So we need to go on ahead and get the bow ready. Because unfortunately, see this guy right here is going to be the, the problem. I need him to stop. Come on, I need you to stop. Stop, broadside, stop, broadside. Oh, come on, come back, come back. Dang, this is annoying. All right, he's still walking away, unfortunately. Probably because their little friend, you know, got spooked. Dang. Just didn't have a good shot. Now, of course, he's walking away. Well, I think, you know, that's bow hunting. You don't always get the shot you wanted, um, which is unfortunate because he's still right there, but he's now 110 meters out. He ain't getting any closer either. Heading the other way. Dang, gone. And he's just not responding to the call anymore, I guess, because, you know, the other one elk in that herd that spooked is nervous. And I just did not get the shot I wanted. So, but like I said, I think that's bow hunting in a nutshell for you. At least we did get a cow. So let's pick her up wherever she is. Where is she? I swear I saw the confirmed trophy. There it is, right there. Okay. And got a perfectly good shot with the crossbow. So, like I said, I don't know. We'll just, uh, we'll just have to see. And keep trying. All right, well, I've decided to change the time, and I changed it to moose drink time. And we have a couple of moose down there, a couple of cows, and a couple of bulls. Hopefully, we're going to try and get level four, but I'll also take the level three because he is pretty decent. Um, the goal would be to hopefully get them with the longbow. We've yet to get anything with the longbow, uh, but if we don't, um, we'll switch to either the crossbow or the bear claw. Like I said, the hope is to get him with a longbow, so let's see if we can get in range and get a shot off. Alright guys, so I think we are now close enough to give the call a go. Oh yeah, shut up, I know you're over there. No, shut up. Yes, I see you. Now come closer, please. Alright, well the moose is 46 meters out. I mean, that's definitely a long shot, but I definitely think it can be done. Um, I'd like to see if they can get a little closer than that. Um, oh, wow. Unfortunately, these moose might have other ideas. Hi there. Um, crap. Come on, buddy. I need you to turn around. I need you to give me a shot. Just like that. And boom. I think we got him. And yeah, no, that's a vital hit. That moose is going down. Awesome. Well, it definitely does take the moose a little bit more to go down, but that's what you would expect from, you know, such a large animal. And we probably also only got a single lung. I doubt that was a great shot um and actually we were a little high because he was closer than i thought he was only 34 meters so you know but hey i mean gold moose i'll take it let's get a picture of him you know maybe like thumbnail purposes i don't know but not half bad at all there i'll take it let's go tell you i am loving using the bows and i definitely want to do this some more um, and the next diamond that I find, I, unless it's a duck or something, I plan on taking it with the bow. That is for sure. All right, guys, so we do have a fairly nice moose out here in front of us. I think this is going to be the last one that we take today. So we're going to go on ahead and hit the collar. Somehow we're hidden here. I don't know exactly how but this should get him coming in 
and yeah he is coming on in so I'd like to use again hopefully the uh, longbow that would be nice and the nice thing is we don't have to worry about any other moose being in the area to spook him or you know make him move when they spook from getting too close so we're just gonna sit here and wait and see if we can get him close enough for a shot preferably 20 meters would be nice the closer the better and actually I kind of went back to the lodge and I did the customization on all the bows and I love what I did here for these ones I gave this one winter camo then turned of course the winter camo uh, crossbow into something completely different but it looks awesome so let's see how close is this guy now he's at 76 meters and he's alert what in the world okay I have no idea why he's alert he shouldn't be I mean I'm hidden there's no wind blowing his way, but he's alert for some reason. So, um, let's get down and see if maybe this will work a little bit better. All right, so now for whatever reason, this guy is not responding to the call. So we're going to have to try and creep closer to him. All right, so for whatever reason, I hit the call again, and this guy uh, started moving. Why, I do not know. Um, however, oh, I know why. Because his zone time is pretty much up. So he's actually walking right to us now. And actually, that is 46 meters. So if I can get up. I'm gonna see if he will stop right there and that should have been a perfect shot and he is going down just get out of the way so we don't get run over but that was perfect awesome let's go this is a pretty big moose right here too and let's see where that shot was right in the front and ooh, man we're shooting a little high. I need to bring the shot down a little bit lower with the uh, with the uh, longbow. So, hey, I mean, the, I'll take it. It's a nice moose. So, it's a max weight estimate. So, he's down. And, guys, I think that is probably where we're going to end this video. Um, I'm really enjoying the bow hunting. This is a lot of fun. I definitely plan on doing some more of this. Let me know down below if you'd like to see some more of it as well. Uh, but, uh, yeah. So I definitely think I'm going to be taking my next diamond with a bow, and I cannot wait to do just that. So with that said, guys, I hope you all enjoyed this video. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day, and I will see you next time.